Hey, I'm going to be making a video today experimenting with unicorn spit and if you're not familiar with it <clears throat> it's been around for quite a while and a lot of people use it for especially wood projects on wood and it's made to go on fabrics and glass and any imaginable surface. The cool part about it is it is um, water-based and it has a wonderful jasmine smell. It's non-toxic and it is also activated by water-based stuff. So once you've painted something, if you want to seal it, you have to seal it with a spray varnish or resin or uh, an oil-based varnish. So uh, I have done a project with them before. I did a, a Lazy Susan quite a while back and I used this the other day a week or so ago in some bloom experiments and I wanted, I've never just done like a dirty pour with these colors and um, this is their regular gel stain and glaze and I have some beautiful this is uh, Sapphire Swift, it's very sparkly blue this one is Violet Vulture Golden Gosling and Starling Sasha and um, Michelle Nicole is the one who started this product and she now has it out and it's manufactured I think through Eclectic Products and she sent me a case of her new some of her metallics that are not really out on the market yet but um, she's letting people test them out so right now it's called Artistic Vivations but these are definitely metallic versus the ones that just have the sparkles in it. They're a little bit different. And I've got some beautiful colors. There's uh, Athena, which is polished copper. Zeus, 24 karat gold. Hep Hephaestus, ancient bronze. Platinum, Artemis. This one is uh, Poseidon, patina bronze, so it's kind of a greenish, deep green. This one is metallic hot pink and uh, metallic turquoise. This one's Cupid and Atlantis. And antique silver is Mercury. I actually meant to, uh, I think, grab that instead of the uh, platinum one for now. So I've got all these beautiful metallic colors and I have never done just a straight acrylic pour with them. So I'm not going to add any um, flow trawl or anything to it, but I can, I don't think I am. I'm just going to use them straight out and just see what happens. But I am going to maybe put some OGX or whatever to make cells. And there's so many colors, and I want to start small until I get kind of used to how they feel. Uh, I've got me a little wooden easel palette thing. It's not an easel, it's a palette. And uh, I've poured on one of these before and just did a dirty pour and it turned out really cool and I resined it. And I thought, well, if this is going to be beautiful metallics, wouldn't that look so beautiful on this wooden piece, especially since they are made oftentimes for wood. So I think I'm going to try this first. And then I've got a 9 by 12 canvas that I've taped off on the back and I'm going to maybe try a dirty pour on that. So let's just see what happens. For this, I'm probably going to need about three ounces, which would or less, which would be one of these bathroom size cups. And I think I want, I think I want to incorporate the purple and blue that's from the original line of Unicorn Spit. Oh, and these are also starting to become available in Walmart and special places throughout the U.S., but Walmart is going to start carrying them, and even if they're not in the store, you probably can find them online on Walmart, so check that out. So I am not sure. I'm just going to pick a bunch of colors, and it's going to be metallics, and I'm just going to go with it. 
so these and these will they're super strong that's why I'm wondering if I should mix them with Floetrol oh it's, they're just so beautiful I don't know if you can see the sparkle of that but it's just truly gorgeous maybe I will maybe I will add a little Floetrol let me just see what happens I want to show you this is the regular unicorn spit it smells so pretty it's jasmine I don't know if you can see the sparkles there it looks different when you add the flow trawl it's so vivid and powerful when you're when you don't add the flow trawl so I think I'm gonna leave the flow trawl out and just go with it so I'm gonna put some of this luscious Zeus 24 karat gold and then I'm gonna use OGX coconut milk I'm gonna just take the dropper and put a drop in just to see what happens and I want to go back I think to this uh, metallic turquoise now this one oh so, they're just gorgeous and get this out of the way I think I'll do a copper next to that turquoise maybe the uh, metallic hot pink these are, these are they go really far they stretch a really long way it takes very little to do large areas so I'm probably like way over doing it on the color but we'll see I want to throw in a little bit of this Starling Sasha whoa it's just gorgeous okay let's do the uh, I can't remember if I did silver or not but we'll do some more if we haven't some of that purple I already did the copper Do a little bit of the green. And a little bit of the bronze. Okay. So the fabulous part about this is it's non-toxic. It smells good. Super condensed. Oh, it's just... So I know this is too much for this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. I thought about doing it on white, putting a white base coat down, and I thought, no, I'm not going to do that either. I see a few air bubbles. Just popping the air bubbles. It's, it's pretty thick. We'll see what happens here. I think I would have been safe to mix the colors with the Floetrol. smells divine okay so the, the interesting part will be to get around this little hole that is in the the palette so 
I'm trying to uh, get the color to spread down without changing too much. And then also I heard that after you, um, which was true when I did my Lazy Susan as well, after I sealed it, that shine, when you seal it, just adds the vividness of the color back. So if it, you know, goes a little darker on you at, at the beginning, don't fret. So that's... That's kind of uh, pretty. I'm going to tilt it back this way. The silver is very uh, opalescent looking. Abalone, abalone. It's extremely interesting. So I'm going to leave this pooling here where the tape is. I'm not going to mess with that. And think I'm not crazy about the green in it with the gold because I like this uh, this more here these cool colors but if you can see the sheen it's so shimmery it's pretty so I like that I'm gonna put this aside to dry Taking a little out of this puddle here where the tape is just to make sure my sides are all covered. This one I'm going to put a little bit of the Sapphire Swift, a little bit of the Violet Vulture. I want this one really deeper. So this would be the traditional sparkling unicorn spit. This is called their sparkling line. Just so pretty. And then these are the metallics. So that's turquoise, which is Atlantis, Zeus 24 karat gold, Cupid hot pink with a little bit of the Sasha, Starling Sasha in it, and this is Mercury antique silver. Okay. And I've got some of white Ning, just straight white unicorn spit that I'm going to throw in and I'm going to do a dirty pour into this cup. I'm going to do a, tr I think I'm going to do a ring, a tree ring pour. So just kind of doing, let's just go. We'll do about half of each cup. I just saw a lump come out that was in my flow trawl. Do the I decided I'm not going to put any silicone in it. So pretty. Mm, 
Just put a little squirt of white. I didn't put the white. I forgot about it, but anyway. So we'll go back to the yellow, the gold, 24 karat gold. Hot pink Cupid. The turquoise Atlantis. And the mixture of the uh, Sapphire Swift and the Violet Vulture. Okay. Gonna zoom in so that you can really see it. I'm going to move it around too just to make it kind of interesting. Just popping the air bubbles. Right now I'm just kind of trying to get it spread out a bit. Get my clump of Floetrol out of there. Okay, I'm going to take this, looks like an elephant trunk. I'm going to take that off over there first. Oh yeah. this one corner that I was a little bit shy of paint on. Beautiful colors. What it reminds me of is when you see uh, on top of the surface of like oil, that uh, rainbow kind of vision that, you know, kind of is a reflection and it's kind of a rainbow kind of thing. That's what it reminds me of. So that's very pretty. Okay, I've got the four colors again. I'm not going to use the platinum silver this time. Um, and I've got it mixed about one to one ratio with Floetrol. Just put a drop of OGX in each color for some cells. And I'm going to incorporate a, an acrylic white in, which will just come out of my squeeze bottle here.
I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. There is a dirty pour with unicorn spit. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe click on the bell in the bottom right you'll get notifications when I post new videos and check out all the links below the video. I'll post where you can get the unicorn spit and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.